Good day, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. And today, let's take up uh, another topic in uh, Autodesk Inventor. Uh, we'll be taking up the um, rib tool. No? Rib tool. Uh, what is a rib tool? Now, the rib tool allows the easy creation of freestanding or connected thin walls. It uses a single sketch to define the various segments of the rib. If center points are included in the sketch, it can also create holes or pegs. So this is how, or this is, yeah, this is how the rib tool works. Now on Inventor, you will see this if you click on the rib button as well as this one. So if you the shape, the draft, under the draft, you'll be seeing this at top, at bottom, the draft angle. And when you click on boss, you will be seeing this area here. The amount of offset, the diameter, and then the draft angle. Okay. So to start with, let's open let's open Inventor. Okay. Now we're on the metric system, and um, let's create a sketch on the top view or the exit plane, and then uh, say. We use a slot, something like that. Then we click on finish sketch. So this is uh, what we have now. Now let's extrude a uh, value of uh, 10 mm. So we have that, okay. Now let's uh, create a sketch on this face, okay, and then um, let's project the geometry, and then we draw a circle here, and another circle at the center there, and tangent. Let's say we extrude this and this, a value of the C15, so I have that. Now let me create another sketch on this face here. On that face, okay. And then I'll draw a line like that. Let's say I dimension my line to make this one 12. Okay, and then uh, I will use uh, the coincident constraint the center of the line coincident with that. Okay. So I have now a fully constrained sketch. I click on finish sketch. So what I have is this one. Dimension visibility of. Okay. Now when I click on the rib tool, this is the rib tool. This is what you will see. Uh, well, I'm going to see this one. So automatically, a rib is produced here. Now the thickness 1mm is the thickness here. For example, I change this one to 2. If you notice, it changes. No? And I have here 2 neck, and I have here finite. When I click on finite, this is the effect. Next, and finite. Okay. If I click here, it will be to the left, and if I click here, it will be to the right. Now this one is for force asymmetric. It is located exactly located exactly on the center. Now about this one, direction one, it will not work. Okay? So as of the moment you have that one. Now you see this draft here, you will see at top, at root, and then define the angle. 
let's say we highlight this one at top and then we define an angle of 10 degrees. I type 10. Try to take a look. There is now a draft here of 10 degrees. When I click on OK, that is the result. Okay. I edit my rib on draft. Let's say I go at root. So you cannot see that one. No? But here the angle I will have it negative 10. Now this is the effect at the root. So when I click on OK, this is what you will see. That is the angle there, which is 10 degrees. Now editing it, going back to the draft, I say I'll make this one at top. Make this one, let's say, 20 degrees. Try to take a look. I will increase it to 25. You see, it will not take effect, the draft angle. Why do you think? Because it's more than the capability here in terms of the weed. So I say only 24. 23. There you go. So this is the maximum draft angle that can be created on, on the rib. You see that? So it's not that difficult. No? Now let's open a new drawing again. Still in the metric system. And then let's throw it on big Z-play. Let's draw a circle here, for example, uh, 60. Okay, I click on finish sketch. This is what I have here. I uh, set current. I will extrude. It said extrusion is uh, opposite, let's say 15, 15 mm. I have 15 mm there, then I click on OK. Now I have here my solid. Now I click the rib tool. If you notice, it says no visible and adaptive sketches. Actually, there are no sketches there. Okay? So you cannot create a rib. If you have that solid, so I will use now another tool, the shell tool in Inventor. Actually, any kind of software uses the shell tool. What is a shell tool? Creating a hollow cavity with walls of a specified thickness. So when I click on the shell tool, you have now a value here that is the thickness value, and then you have here the faces, and we have three. This is inside, this one is outside, and this one is both. Okay? So, inside, I click on this face, automatically I have a shell. The thickness is 1 mm. Let's make this one 3. So, I have that one. No? Okay? Using now my shell tool, it's very, very simple. You make it outside that is the result you see the arrow it's outside you make it both you will see that one both okay so let's have this one we select that one on the inside now the thickness is three and then we click on ok <coughs> so this is not the effect of the of the shell tool now let's create another sketch on this face here Okay, and let's draw a circle, let's say, for example, at the center. But before that, let me project the geometry here. And then I draw a circle from the center. Let's say I have a value of 30. Okay. Then let's draw a line like that. And another line, create another line here. Okay, let's delete the circle here. So I have that one. Okay, I have that one. And on this line, let me use the point tool. What is a point tool? Create either a sketch point or a center point depending on the setting of the center point. It's very simple. It's simply a 
a point tool. I click on the point tool. I select the endpoint there. I click. I click there. And then that. And then that. I'm sorry. But anyway, I can have this one. I'm using this tool here. What is this tool? This is a coin coincident constraint. I click there and select the center. So it's now coincident to the center. So when I click on finish sketch, I have my sketch here. Now I click on the rib tool. This is what I have. Okay. I select that. Automatically, <coughs> I have a thickness equivalent to 1 mm. Let me increase the thickness by 3. So you will see that here. Okay, so it's on the center, so I click here. Now clicking on the finite, this is now the effect. So we will use to next. Now let's say we use a draft at top, let's say 5 degrees. So when I click on that, uh, the effect of the draft is that one. So 5 degrees here. Okay, you see that? I double click on the rib. I go back. When I click here, extend to profile, and then I uncheck, this is how it looks like. I extend. Now I click on the boss. Now the diameter here is 1 mm. I will change the diameter, let's say, to 5. I'll try to take a look. I have now diameter is 5 mm. And the offset is 1 mm. What is this offset? I click on OK. I click on this view. Now with respect to these edges, I have the distance from that point to that point, and that distance is 1 mm. That is 1 mm. What is that 1 mm? That is your offset. If I have a value 0, then there is a 0 offset, so I'll have this one. Follow? Now I'll give the draft angle. Let's say I type a 5 degrees draft angle, so this is the result. Increasing that, let's make it in degrees. This is the result of grid using the boss command. When I click on OK, if you're satisfied with the with the figure, you click on OK. That is how it looks like now on the right side view. It's flat because the offset is set to zero. Okay. If you want, you can edit it. Click on boss. Click on the offset. Let's say one mm. There you go. This is the result. Okay. <clears throat> now let's say we click on or we click or we start another sketch. Now I will find this plane, the YZ plane. I double click. Now here is a new tool for you. When I click the right mouse button, I have a pop up menu. And um, one of the uh, important uh, part of this menu is the slice graphics. When I click on the slice graphics, try to take a look. It is slice exactly halfway along the plane I selected, which is the YZ plane. No? I project the geometry. I select that one, for example. And then let me draw a circle somewhere here. Now the center will be there. And then I drag it. Okay. Click on OK. Undo. Again, let me draw the circle at the center there. Let's set this point here. Now you use my trim tool to trim this portion of the circle. So I have that. So I click on finish sketch. I have this one. Follow. Now I click on the rib tool. I select that. This is what you see now. I select finite. 
now this is what we have do you follow that's finite so if you click here opposite that is what we have the other direction will be there this is asymmetric now this when I click it expands outside now I go back that is how it looks like no? now let me change this value here it may make this one also 3mm so that is what I had so far okay so if I'm satisfied with the output I simply click on OK okay that is what I have <clears throat> Now let's change now our material and now let's say we use a driftwood for this. So this is how it looks like. Now let's use uh, if you lay uh, a loop. This one. Let's say we define it a value of one mm. If you notice, there is here a question mark. So there, there is a problem there. No, so I cannot use this value. So cancel, fillet again. If I click on the feature here, and then I select that, with a fillet value, let's say, of 2. Okay? You see that? Again, there is an error. Say value of 1.5. I cannot fillet that one with the value. So let's say the default is 1. I click, I check. So this is now how it looks like. See? Again, we, 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 we fillet this portion here. Something like that. And this portion also. And then that. And then you click on apply. And then click on. So this is how it looks like. Huh? It's a little bit high, so I can edit it. I can click on sketch. I'm sorry. I can click on extrusion. I change the value to 10. I click on OK. So if I update, this is what I have. This is this is the output of my drawing using using the ring tool. It's very <clears throat> as if the drawing is a little bit difficult, but actually it's not. We use simply two tools for this. We use the the shell tool, and then we use the rib tool. Okay, so discussion on the rib tool ends at this point. Now, for those who like my video tutorial, kindly subscribe, like, and share. Thank you very much.